morning, everyone. This is Coleman from Coleman's Coins and Currency. And today I have the American Numismatic Association 2022 World's Fair of Money recap video. And in today's video, we're going to recap what I was able to purchase both for resale and for and for my personal collection at the American Numismatic Association's World's Fair of Money in Rosemont, Illinois. So, first off, we bought this very scarce $100 state of Mississippi obsolete currency banknote. This is a extremely scarce issue, and I paid $110, and I think it's going to go anywhere from, like, 175 to about 300 then there is a confederate note and i paid five bucks for that that's gonna go for about 15 to 20 there's a 1928 20 dollar gold certificate i paid 85 it's probably gonna go anywhere from from 130 to 150 there's a $1 Confederate note, paid five. It's going to go for out 15 to 20. There's a 1914 $20 Federal Reserve note. I paid 50. It's probably going to go anywhere from 90 to 125. There's another $2 conf Confederate note. I paid five. It's probably going to go anywhere from 15 to 20. And then, and then here's something really cool, guys. Take a look at this. This is a 1929 $5 national note, type one. And this is from the First National Bank of Calumet, Michigan. Now, this Michigan charter is extremely scarce. And it is very rare. And this note, I paid 82 and this should go anywhere from 125 to 175 or more. Yeah, this is a pretty scarce charter. So then we have a cool Alabama 10 cent obsolete note. This I paid five. It's gonna go anywhere from 20 to 35 bucks. Then we got a replacement. $10 national. This is from the Pacific National Bank of San Francisco, California. Now, this is a type one note, it, it, and it is a replacement note because if you viewers look closer at the serial number, you can see how it's a little bit darker than this serial number right there. Notice that difference. So, yes, so the replacement note is very scarce, and to be honest with you guys, with pricing, I would say anywhere from like 200 all the way up to maybe 500 or more, just, you know, there's really no replacement note out there, so it's very hard to judge a sold comp. Then, next up... We have a Bahama government for shillings foreign note. Now, this is one of the f only foreign notes that I purchased yesterday. This is a extremely scarce note, and I paid 95 and it should sell anywhere from 150 to about 200 Then we have a $20 Type 2 National. This is from the Union Planters National Bank and Trust Company of Memphis, Tennessee. And this note I paid $50 for, and... It should fetch right around a hundred to it to one twenty-five or more. Then here is a twenty-dollar ink smear error, which is a very cool error. And I paid sixty-five, and it should fetch right around one twenty-five. There's a five-dollar printing error. I paid twenty-five. You can see it's a little miscut there, and it should go for about sixty to seventy-five. And here's a ten-dollar. Canal Bank, and I paid 35 and it should go right around 45 to 75 So, overall, the ANA World's Fair money was not bad. And then here's two notes that I bought for myself. Here is a 1929 $5 Type 1 from the Lawndale National Bank of Chicago, Illinois, Type 1, for my personal collection. Because I used to own 
a Chicago, but it had a big stain on it, so I made an upgrade yesterday. Then there is a 1929 $10 national from the First Wisconsin National Bank of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, type 1. Nice and clean note. Clean note. And I paid 72 It's worth about 90 So, yeah. So, here are notes that, that we bought yesterday. You can see they're all laid out on the table. And starting next week and for the next few weeks, we're going to be listing these notes onto my eBay store for no reserve auction. And my eBay store is Coleman's Coins and Currency. And as always, take care, and I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.